So now we get to, without a doubt, easily, not even close. Oh, yeah. UFC acknowledged it too. The oh, fight yeah. of the night. And I, I, I was yeah. kind of thinking as much going into this event that um, it was going to be between this Munoz Rivera fight and between Rose and Shugan. I was like, these two will both probably be for sure be great. Because Pedro Munoz is exciting, Jimmy Rivera is exciting, and they go and they fight. Like Rivera, I think a lot of his fights go the distance. Um, but that, it's an that, exciting fight. That leg, man! Holy oh yeah, crap! His leg was just compromised. I had this you know, It was to bad, say the least. Man. We ha- so forty. Okay, so I told you right. I said Gone had forty six leg kicks. Yeah. Okay. So Munoz had forty. But I I remember Munoz is like <laughs> I don't remember guns because <laughs> Munoz was absolutely his leg was an axe and Rivera's uh, Rivera was like getting chopped man just chop after chop and it was pretty early on I don't know if it was the first round or second round but you could already see like Rivera was having problems standing on it well I mean and props to him he 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 kept that as his lead leg for most of the time he still pressed forward he still did his thing the but there was um, there was a point was I don't much. remember which round it was in uh I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was the first because of the way I have my notes down but he you could hear them uh him telling his coaches that um his calf was killing him and yes they, you're right I, I remember in between rounds yeah he, t- yeah, he said i believe yeah. it was the first round yeah. and that swelling was nuts too because we saw it immediately and it was like oh man that doesn't look good and it just started progressively getting worse and worse and worse and worse over those three rounds and in round two i think is when uh muñoz just completed the damage that he was trying to do to that leg because that round in round three rivera was just limping there was yeah you know, there was the leg had turned to jelly. Basically, it was just like <laughs> just standing on Jello, man. Uh, so, how did the judges have this one? Judges had uh, all three had the first two rounds for Munoz, and one had the sec the third round for Rivera, and the other two had the third round for Munoz. So it was 30-27, 30-27, 29-28. twenty-eight. I'm trying to remember. I I think I. Th- I was thinking it was a unanimous decision for a uh, 30, 27 unanimous decision for Munoz. I think that's how I had, had it scored. Um, but the 29, 28, I could kind of understand, I guess, how they got to that. So I mean, it could have been, it could have been the first. Cause I, I don't, I don't remember the third was uh, completely Munoz. Uh, the second, I would even say was Munoz. Cause that's when most of the damage got done to that leg. Like the minute that he realized that working, this is doing something, uh, he just, kept it up so i if anything maybe they gave the first to rivera is is that how that went down or because you're looking at no, it's funny part. you say the third it's funny you said the third was the one that you saw was for sure munoz the yeah. that one judge that scored a 29 28 that he gave the third to rivera I don't but know, the, other, the guy the was other, limping the other two yeah the, yeah he was the other <laughs> two had a 10 9 10 9 for all three yeah, I mean, props to Rivera, man. Like I said, when we were watching it, the guy's built like a Volvo, dude. You can't. <laughs> yeah. And Munoz has a jujitsu background. So going into this, I thought that he would be, you know, he would be working some of that jujitsu. He'd be taking him to the ground. He'd be doing something there. And no matter what, Rivera was just like, you know what? You can't flip me. There, there's no rolling me. So uh, all right, let's let's play that stand up game. And holy crap, did Munoz deliver on that, man? I, uh, it's impressive yeah, for somebody absolutely. from that background too to not even grapple at all. Just all right, awesome. Yeah, you had Rivera that went for five takedowns. He landed one, but it wasn't really impactful. You see the numbers show it to a four second control time. So it's like I, I I think I remember he got him down and Munoz was already up. Like yeah. as soon as he landed, he yeah, got back up. So not really impactful. Um, but no, I mean Munoz is a fun fighter, man. He fought Frankie Edgar last in, I believe it was August. Yeah, it was like August 22nd, August 23rd, something like that. And that was the that was the main event. It was Frankie Edgar and Pedro Munoz. I had Pedro Munoz winning that fight. That one also went decision. I don't remember if it was a split decision or if it was a unanimous decision at 29, uh, like whatever, 48, 47. Hmm. I think it may have been a split decision. But I thought Munoz won. Um, Edgar ended up getting that one. So... 
I thought that was kind of robbery. And Munoz also has knocked out Cody Garbrandt. That was like the third one on Cody Garbrandt's uh, three fight KO streak. So fun fighter. Um, I don't remember what their rankings were going in. That might crack Pedro in the top five if he's not top five already. But I was looking forward to that fight. That one did deliver, though. Just an aside. uh, Munoz lost to so immediately before losing to Frankie Edgar, he lost to uh, Aljamain Sterling, and so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this a little bit later. But I just wanted yeah. to point that out. And then Aljamain Sterling's fighting our boy uh, Peter Yan. Yeah. So uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Munoz showed up to this one, so we might be seeing some interesting shakeups occur. Um, Do you see when that Sterling and Munoz fight was? This was it 2018 or 19? 2019, June 8th, 2019 is when that happened. Oh, okay. I didn't see that one. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, Aldro, like you said, we will talk about that guy's an animal too. Uh, so good, good fight there for the Excellent Bantams. Fight, I always look forward to the Bantams because that's one of my favorite decision, uh, divisions, I should say. I want to say this is the one where, because uh, remember I was, I think I asked you, I'm saying, who, who, which one was it where uh, Dana even walked out and like put his arm around the dude and was like, oh, oh, oh. I yes, think this may have I been believe the one. It was this one. I you believe know? it was this fight. Yeah. yeah and, I don't, uh, I don't think I've seen the, him do that before. He looked like, dude, come here, come here. We got to yeah. talk, you know, this is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, I remember that. And I was kind of surprised. I mean, not that I was surprised cause that was, that was a fight that deserved that. But like you said, generally you don't see Dana being the one that approaches the fighter or at least, look at, at least the way the camera showed that it seemed like Dana approached them. Usually you'll see the fighter go to him, yeah. give him a knuckle touch, ask for the 50 G's or something. And then skedaddle. Uh, and then, so Munoz and both uh, both Munoz and Rivera both got the 50k fight of the night bonus. Um, Good, they deserve I think it, man. The, Rivera deserves it too. 100. percent And I want to say Munoz's last fight too, the one against Edgar. I'm fairly confident that probably got fight of the night too. So, and they were saying, I think the commentators were saying it on the on the on, during the event, or maybe it was uh, fight night picks to those guys that we watch. I think maybe they were saying like Munoz is like a. a uh, a fight of the night fighter or like a what a performance fighter because he's always trying to rack up that 50k and i mean to look at the way he fights it's fun as hell uh it does it's not surprising that he does secure those so that was probably i think for both of us our favorite fight of the night it was easily. that was the was yeah, second one of the main event we so we both had munoz on that one yes. as well in our picks 